Hey guys, sitting here trying to get the newest studio vlog up on uh, YouTube and crap is just happening left and right and not allow me to do this, not allow me to do that. I uploaded the wrong video and now I'm going to try it again. <laughs> um, I managed, uh, I'm sitting here with a cup of uh, vanilla mint, not mint, vanilla biscotti uh, coffee. I managed to get these done yesterday. Uh, I... I broke my corner rounder uh, and I had to wait for my husband to get home to help me fix it and I ended up fixing it myself anyway. <laughs> so, but I got those done. I didn't get the third picture done because I started doing that cartoon me challenge or tune me, whatever it was. So I have that on my tablet, which I'm going to finish in just a minute before the craze is all over and I'm like, you know, behind yet again. Um, I had to go to the grocery store or the pharmacy, I guess, and get some more pain reliever. So I'm gonna give this a go. This has uh, a muscle relaxant in it, which the Advil over there does not. So I'm gonna go and give this a try because I'm in so much pain and I didn't sleep good again last night and it's just horrible, but I'm looking like crap today. So I'm probably not gonna be on the video much. I have these over here to demold in just a moment so i'm gonna get that done and see what they look like super excited for that maybe i'll pour a little bit more later as well so we'll see how that goes too let's get back to trying to get this video up so i decided to jump on the tune me challenge bandwagon i don't usually do things like this and jump on you know the trends and stuff but i thought i would give it a go and uh, the video is not that long so i didn't want to you know upload it on its own so i thought i would stick it in here and uh, i did speed it up quite a bit just so it could be over a little bit faster but i wanted to show you guys the outcome of my tune me challenge and uh, i i feel like i could have tuned myself a little bit more it does look a little realistic but i'm quite impressed with uh, how it turned out because i'm not used to doing things like this and it was really fun um and i and i'd like to try it again i know um a lot of people i think haven't really seen the challenge yet i see a lot of people um, popping up saying that they haven't heard of the challenge or they haven't seen it so if you're watching this and you haven't tried the to me challenge you definitely have to give it a go and uh, it's it's really fun so and you don't even need to have um, you don't even need to use digital art you can you know cut a picture of yourself in half and do it on um, on paper if you'd like so um, give it a go and this is how mine turned out and I hope you liked it and uh, yeah maybe I'll do some more things like this in the future Hey guys, it's the 23rd of January and I, oh, whoops, have a ton of resin things on the go here. Uh, I made a mistake of using little tiny uh, solo cups to do this with and I mix all of this resin in one go. I have no idea if I've ruined my molds, if they're going to work out. I've got two more coasters on the go in there. I don't want to take the covers off because I just don't want them to get wrecked because I have been having a rough day today. I'm in so much pain. That medication that I bought the other day for my leg and my back is not doing anything. So I'm contemplating on trying uh, to get a doctor's appointment for next week if it doesn't get better over the weekend because it's been about a month now that I've been having this pain and it's just, it's not right anymore. <laughs> So um, these are some of the resin pieces that um, I had my husband take out of my molds last week. I'm going to have to um, excuse my hands. They're really dry because of the weather. The reason why I'm showing you guys the, this is I don't know what to do with them. Um, I was going to make them into either keychains or necklaces, especially these right here. These came out kind of neat. I like those. Um, now, these right here, this one is, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of little air pockets. Not, I'm not going to use this one because as you can see, I tried to fill the air pockets in and it uh, it wouldn't work. I'm so sorry, guys. My fingernails are disgusting. Um, the reason why I'm showing you guys this, I do have some that have a lot of these like little air pockets in them. Like, would you scrap this or would you sell it as a second or what would you do with it? I mean, the colors are really pretty. Um, and you know, it, it looks really nice, but they do have like a lot of imperfections. Like this one right here, 
it's it's really bad like I wouldn't even think about selling this one so this is kind of like a dud so I wouldn't even bother with that but some of them have like little um just like little imperfections like these little air bubbles in them and uh, you can you can actually see that there's a hole there and I'm not really sure what I should be doing with them um so if you guys want to leave a comment down below what you think I should do with them like I don't know should I just scrap it or put them in a seconds or if you know a way to fix the problem that I'm having, like this one right here, you can see it has a few indents in them as well. Like I don't know if I can figure out a way to wrap these with wire to hide most of the imperfections, or like I said, if they are literally just garbage. Um, your opinion would be greatly appreciated because like these colors are super nice together uh, and, and they, they turned out really nice color wise, but it's those little divots um, from being inside the molds where it's it's left the air pockets. I don't know if I could sand these down on every side, um, but then how would I coat them with the resin again to make them even? Does that make sense what I'm saying? I don't know. Again, I'm repeating myself here. Let me know what you think, and I will show you guys all of this stuff um, in a clip tomorrow. I don't know what it is I'm going to be doing today. Um, I do have... I, I still didn't get around to making this third sketch, and I'm still... Like, I feel like my vlogs are getting really repetitive, and because I haven't been doing anything, I've been in so much pain. It hurts sitting in this chair, and um, I'm just... I'm watching some vlogs here, and I did get up a video for tomorrow, which is going to be the 24th, so there is... There's that. I really don't know how else to start off this segment of the vlog other than to show you this. <laughs> this is a brand new mold that I got for Christmas. Brand spanking new. And I had a funny feeling when I poured the resin yesterday. Something just wasn't right. And I mixed a whole lot of resin and I had to use it because it would have been wasted. But needless to say, this mold is also garbage. Um, these won't even come out. And I don't know, I really don't know what I did wrong. This one is like halfway out, but it decided to, uh, it, it decided to stick. Uh, what, what I think it is, is the um, white alcohol ink went down to the surface too far. I don't know, uh, but that's what seems to be stuck. So this is garbage, that's garbage. Uh, these here are garbage. I can, there's no way I can even salvage that. So that's all garbage. <laughs> I have a few over here that I did take out that I might be able to do something with if I sand it down. Um, so this one here is not too, too bad. Again, I apologize for my fingers. Um, they're not very nice looking. Come on, focus. So that one's got like a bit of the mold left on it, but I mean, it looks really cool and I probably could wire wrap it. This one here turned out decent. A few little bits and bobs that I have to fix. Like this one right here could definitely be a magnet. Uh, this little one right here could definitely be a lapel pin and, uh, and so forth. Like th they're not, these here aren't totally horrible, but there's dog and cat fur everywhere but that's what they turned out like so that's what I poured yesterday then I have all of these my necklace uh my crystal pieces and everything all of these are stuck in won't come out these are most likely all garbage um and then I have a runny nose today sorry guys these are the resin coasters I'm going to try to cut this off, sand it down, fix it, but that's what they turn out like. And this one has some really neat effects on the inside. So I hope I'm going to, I hope I'm going to be able to salvage it and fix it up and hopefully be able to sell this one because it's really nice. And that's this one right here. This one's got some really nice blooms on the inside of it as well. This one turned out really nice. Not in as big of, um not as big of a mess as the other one but there is some of the mold right there I, I don't know what it is I did wrong everything was going so nice so nice so this mold right here around the edges it's a little bit um it, it's ruined so what I'll do is when I use this one again because I still can because just down a little bit lower than that 
just down a little bit lower than that uh, it'll be it'll be fine so the next one just won't be just won't be as thick so I don't know I still have two more of these though the came in a four and a set for 20 bucks but you know it's just really discouraging when you're working with stuff and uh, they just doesn't come out right and it's a waste of material a waste of money and I don't know like <laughs> these were probably gonna be really nice I don't know if my husband's gonna be able to get them out but they seem to be stuck in on the top fairly good and I can't even pull the side of the the mold away from it so I don't know if we can cut them out or if all of these all of these right there these are all garbage so a little bit of a disappointing uh, start to the day Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days since my um, molds broke the last lot of resin that I poured. So I did do some more after and uh, I decided to use one of the new trays that I got for Christmas. And that's how these turn out. I already demolded one, um, actually three this morning. Um, this is what they look like. So I think these would be great for making like little ornaments and what have you. So I just had a little bit of extra resin there and I just, I didn't want to do anything too fancy just in case it didn't work out. But for whatever reason, this is a baking mold and it actually works better than the molds that are for making coasters. Um, these aren't any good for coasters, but my plan were uh, to even have keychains. I don't know if someone would think that that's a little bit too big for a keychain. You can let me know your thoughts down below. Um, but what I thought was um, I could put like little sayings on the inside side and you know have glitter and stuff like that um I wouldn't mind having one of these for keychain but I know some people don't like big keychains like there's a little bit of a difference between the sizes there so like this would be the size of a regular keychain but this one here is um already bargained for but uh yeah, that's what this one oh get in the camera that's what this one turned out like they didn't stick the mold is still intact and I just wanted to, I left one in here just to show you guys how easy it was to pop out and all I did, oh, this one here sticks. The other ones, I did, this is the only one that I didn't pop out and this is the only one that's going to stick. But you know what? It didn't ruin the mold, which is fine. <clears throat> A little bit of sanding there on the edge. I don't know why this one stuck and then the rest of them didn't. But that's what that one looks like. Okay, so this is the new coaster that I tried. It's still a little bit soft, so it's going to need a couple extra days. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> hardening outside of the mold. But I'm just going to pull the sides away. Nothing stuck this time. Oh, over here it did. It seems like it's the alcohol ink that's making it stick but it's still usable it didn't ruin it so we can go ahead and pop this one out possibly yep there we go like i said it's still a little bit soft and it's going to need another couple days to harden up but this one actually um this one actually did its thing so that's that's kind of cool so i'm going to be selling um these when i make them as trinket trays and not coasters and i think people would uh, appreciate them a little bit more in that form than a coaster but i mean you could use it for a lot of different things so that's that one and i have one more you're clicking in the background that's just my dog this one here, it's coming off nice and easy. Shouldn't say anything, should wait until I get. So let's pop this one out. Perfect. So I don't know what was up with that mold that one time and why it got stuck, but these are really neat. There's a lot of nice different shapes and everything in there like the way that the the resin kind of took to the mold which was really cool so these are kind of got the same colors in them um they pretty much do so these could be bought as a set if you wanted to buy them as a coaster but i will be listing them in my etsy store and because they are a thin 
um, material. I can put them in bubble envelopes and send them that way with some extra padding. So it wouldn't cost a fortune to actually send them the mail. And they're quite light as well. So it wouldn't, the, the shipping costs wouldn't be that much. Now, if anyone wanted to, you know, buy multiples, I can get a box to put them in and, and ship them that way. But the, the shipping would be a little bit more expensive. And I'm trying to, um, trying to stay on the lower side of the shipping just so people would want to purchase my stuff. So these are pretty cool. There are no imperfections in them whatsoever. Um, there is a slight lip on the back, but I mean, it's not, um, it's not that big of a deal. They just need a couple extra days to dry and they will be good to go. Hey guys, just wanted to have a little chat um, with you before I end the video here today. Uh, I just want to talk about a couple of things. I got some notes down here in front of me. Uh, I just wanted to um, let you guys know that going forward on the channel uh, that I'm planning on doing digital work on Sundays like I used to do if I decide to put up any digital work. So if you did come here because of my um, digital illustrations, which I don't think there are many people because I haven't been doing them that long and there are not that many on my channel, but uh, you can look forward to things like that um, on Sundays. Um, I was talking it over with uh, my husband the other day and he thought that it might have been a good idea for me to start focusing on going live on Facebook and um, putting more effort into things over on Facebook. So I kind of wanted to get your, um, your, I guess, suggestions or advice. Like, would you want me to go live on Facebook rather than on YouTube? Should I be using Twitch? Um, I know that a lot of people do use Twitch, but it's kind of, you need to bring your following from another place over there. And it's really hard to get followers or I guess, um, subscribers over there, I guess that's what it's called. Uh, so I'm kind of kind of going all over the place of whether I should be doing lives on YouTube, lives on Facebook, lives on Twitch, or should I like alternate between um, the few? Uh, because I really want to gain more of a following on social media and I want to kind of put my name out there more than what it already is. Like I know I'm on Instagram and I know I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter, but I'm not like I'm not on Twitter a lot because that like I said before Twitter stresses me out um so I kind of want to be visible in more areas than just on YouTube uh I thought about uh starting up a website for myself and I've done this before and it completely bombed every time that I did it but I want to try to find some way to put up kind of like a portfolio for myself so people can see it uh, and see my work because I really want to improve and hopefully gain maybe some online work or something from the things that I do. If someone comes across my work and thinks that it's good enough um, for what they want, uh, I know that's probably the worst way to put it, but I mean, um, it is what it is. People see your work and they like it or they don't like it and they want you to work for them or they don't want you to work for them or they want to buy your artwork or they don't. You know, so I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, I just, uh, I'm kind of a um, plain and blunt and to the point kind of person. So <laughs> it is or it isn't, that, that's the way it goes with me. Um, I'm going to try Patreon for a couple of more months. I didn't get any interaction over there for the month of January. So hopefully maybe for the month of February, I'll get someone over there or, um, you know, someone will show some interest in, in Patreon. And I just want to let you guys know before I go any further, this is not strictly all about money, but I really would like to, um, I, I would like to grow into some sort of like, um, like a little small business for myself so I can work for myself. And in order to do that, I have to be more of a business person. So my husband says, he's like, you know, you do your art, but you also have to be on the business side of things as well. And you need to get into doing the business things for your business, if that's what it is you want to do. I don't have a business right now, but I would like to lead into that. And the only way that I can do that if I try to be more business-like. So I still want to do my art, but I kind of still have to, 
you know, do the whole business side of things as well. So I do have to talk about Patreon. I do have to talk about Twitch. I do have to talk about live streaming on YouTube and how much I want to be in the partner, uh, back in the partnership program with YouTube so I can get paid for my videos. Because I do spend a lot of time, um, you know, when I can focus on my videos. I do spend a lot of time and it would just be nice to get something back in return. Um, and the next thing that I wanted to talk about with, you know, going in with revenue and, and all that kind of thing is it's Etsy. Um, I'm really, really appreciative of the people that have gone in, um, even just to view my Etsy store. Um, I can see all the stats that people are going in and viewing my shop and, and what have you. And I've, I've gotten a couple sales on there um, uh, in the last little bit. So I just really wanted to say thank you for that if you've purchased something. and. If you haven't, maybe it might be something that you're interested in. And my link is down in the description below if you wanted to go over and check that out. Um, I also wanted to um, put some wire wrap jewelry on my Etsy store. Um, I had, again, my, my husband knows more about business side of things than I do because he was a salesperson and he knows like the some of the ins and outs of, of dealing with business type things and business type things, right? Real business like. And um, he's... Um, he said that uh, I had mentioned to him that I wanted to separate my jewelry from my um, my artwork and he said it's probably not a good idea to do that because when someone's going into my shop they're seeing everything that I'm doing rather than okay you go here and look at this and you go here and look at that so um, I think I'm going to leave everything as it is for now but I've, I, I did think about for the longest time separating because it's kind of um, awkward going in there and then you see listings of jewelry and then you see listings of watercolor work or um, you know prints and stuff like that but I'm going to leave it all together for now um, for the next little while anyway and see where that goes and um, one of the other things that uh, my dog's making a racket one of the other things that I wanted to talk about is that I want to put up some of my resin work um, other than the jewelry on Etsy as well. So you can look forward to seeing that. Um, but speaking of resin, um, my last video didn't do that well. And it was like a real time, um, real time resin casting with alcohol inks and, and what have you. There's the cat. Um, so it didn't, it didn't do that well. And I'm just curious to know, um, what you guys think of me putting resin videos on my channel. Because I know some of you guys didn't come here for that, but I kind of want to expand on more things and not have my channel just all about, um, I don't want it to be just all about artwork. My hair is a total mess. Um, so with that being said, if you are interested in the resin and you missed my last video, it'd be great if you can go back and have a look at it. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and, and help me out that way. Um, the more my videos get watched, um, the more people that see my videos, clearly um, the more YouTube will recommend and, and what have you. And you know, there's so many changes going on in YouTube that it's hard to be big on YouTube now. So I, and it's not that I'm looking to be big on YouTube, but just... I just I really want to um, make something out of what I'm doing more than just, um, you know, it's great to have a following and I'm so appreciative of all the people that have been coming to my channel and, you know, follow me along on the things that I'm doing. It's just I really would like to have um, another type of reward from doing everything that I'm doing. And I hope that doesn't make me sound selfish at all because I kind of feel like some people are going to come back and bash me for the things that I'm saying. but. Um, it's how I'm feeling and um, I just wanted to be honest with everybody in the community here um, that that's how I'm feeling. Um, I have an itchy nose. So speaking of resin, I am working with a couple different companies right now. Um, I'm not going to say who they are, but you'll see in upcoming videos. Um, I have, I'm working with one company that wants me to do a three-part series for um, the item that they've sent me so I'm looking to have that up in the month of February uh, and I think I'm going to um, do it in, I have to do it in three different parts and I'm going to put it up um, th three consecutive Thursdays in February kind of like a little mini series type of thing and get that um, up and running as well and then hopefully by the end of February um, the company that's sending me the other materials that I'm going to do a review for um, I'll already have that and then I'll have another review video for you guys in um, in what's after February? March. That's what's in March. <laughs> Can't remember the months here. I'm very sorry if I seem like I'm all over the place. I'm um, 
I'm kind of I'm taking some medication for my my back issues and they kind of make me a little bit loopy and tired so I'm trying my best here I still want to get some videos out I still want to get work done but this past week and last week as well it's been a little bit excruciating sitting here in this chair but I do have a mess of resin stuff over there on my other table that I do have to get working on um, but those are kind of my thoughts and kind of where I want to go and um, I really want to continue putting my studio vlogs out on Tuesdays. I kind of like that day and people seem to really um, go for the videos when I post them on Tuesday so I'm not going to change that at all and then Fridays is still going to be like my painting days and um, my like sketch with me's and, and things like that um, and I'm, I'm trying to come up with some different videos that I can do because I feel like my channel is getting very repetitive and I even said that in my vlog um, that I feel like they're getting very repetitive and I don't want to do that. I want to, um, you know, have something different all the time. And it's very hard to do that when you work in three different mediums. So I'm hoping that you guys would appreciate the, um, the, the resin videos or if I can get into just some jewelry, like wire wrapping videos. I'm trying to learn how to do that as well. Uh, and some digital videos so it's not like digital art so that it's not all, okay, watch me sketch, watch me paint, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm getting at and um, I hope you guys um, understand my decisions and I hope you continue to be supportive because I really appreciate it when, when you are and um, that's pretty much I think all I have to say for now. I hope I didn't bore you too much talking about all this and I know I don't usually sit down in front of the camera like this either um, but I feel like I want that to change as well. I don't Feel, I feel like I don't spend enough time in front of the camera and all you guys are getting, um, you know, looking at my hands and there's, there's no, um, there's not a personal touch, I guess. I'm air quoting personal touch in the videos where you guys have a face to go with what you're seeing. So I hope that's going to change. I'm going to try my best um, to be in front of the camera a little bit more and probably be in my videos a little bit more while I'm doing things so you guys can you know, see me rather than just my hands. And, and I hope that's what you guys are looking for. Um, thank you so much to all the new subscribers and everyone that's leaving comments and people who've been here forever. Um, thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, I think that's all I want to say for this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope some people enjoyed it. I hope everybody enjoyed it actually. Um, but I understand if, you know, these sit down things are not your cup of tea. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.